sound rolling. Video rolling. Hi, everyone. This is the uncut version of the podcast. So I've decided to just record this, how I do it, and then show you everything about what I'm doing. And uh, I even did a time lapse of me setting up, but I think the time lapse finished before I finished. So we'll see about that. Uh, I'm hoping that this microphone is working and that you can hear that as well okay so I'm gonna go and put this one down here that's fine so I don't have to listen to it all okay I would everything live today so I'm, I've not even looked at the COVID figures or anything so we'll have a look a quick supper coffee mmm and we start the show. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Afcast Tenerife Afternoons. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. On today's show, it's Monday the 22nd of March, 2021. We're going to have a little bit of the weather. We're going to have the latest in the COVID saga. We're going to nip over to Janet Anscombe's website and see what headlines there are there. Then we're going to go to the gobierno de canarias.com and see what they're looking at there. I haven't had a, an email from Cleo yet, so we'll see whether we'll do that or not. Enjoy the show. going to be plenty of weather in the next few days so they say yesterday was a bit cloudy and overcast but warm in the low 20s uh, today in the morning was a bit overcast as well but as you can see now if you're looking at us on YouTube it's a little bit windy but in the, the sun's just come out in fact so it's low 20s here also but a little bit warmer in the sun they do say there's going to be a Kalima coming this week and Thursday is going to when it's going to hit but it's a winter Kalima, so that means it's just slightly higher temperatures, but a lot of dust in the air and could bring dirty rain by the weekend. So they're promising. We'll see more about that with Janet Anson later. So for the week last week, they did say it was going to be sunny all week, and it wasn't, so uh, you never know. You never know here. Wait five minutes. But as I say, there's not been any rain that we've seen, although we get up pretty late, it might rain in the morning somewhere on the mountain, but we haven't seen any here down on the beach in Cayal Salvaje. That was your weather for today, Monday the 22nd of March, 2021. Now we're going to do the COVID live. So I just go into my iPad. I bring up the COVID dashboard. And typically I'll write these figures down and put them somewhere so I can read them off pretty quickly. So today, 4412. Okay. Do you remember 4412? It's not a very good uh, reaction on this website. You've got to wait for it to load it behind the scenes, and then you can press a button. So what I'm doing now, I'm remembering 4412, and I'm going to press Tenerife. And then I've got to wait then until it zooms in, and everything's correct. Then the figure here will change. So then I'll zoom into these figures, and it'll show me all the active cases uh, in Tenerife with a list of municipalities as well. So here we go. 
COVID-19 update. This is the uh, COVID-19 update for yesterday at 2 p.m. And the whole of the Canary Islands active cases were 4,412. And the active cases on Tenerife now are 2,315. The lion's share being in Santa Cruz, just over 1,000. La Laguna, over 500 again, 555. Adeki, 113, slightly higher than the last time we looked. Arona's reached the 100 mark again, so we're on the way up. And Granadilla de Abona, 97. Uh, La Oratoba in the north there jumped over the 50 mark at 62. All the rest are under 50. So that was your COVID for today. So we're going to do Janet Anscombe next. So I'll just have a look to see what she's got there. It's a very good site, actually, if you want to go there, JanetAnscombe.com. So you've got, like, uh, the homepage, which gives you the latest sort of everything else. And then we've got uh, Get It Right, which has registration matters, working in Tenerife, buying a property, renting as owner or tenant, letting legally, keeping dogs, Tenerife, the Canaries in Spain, and basic Spanish vocabulary. So there's quite a bit to look at there. There's some FAQs as well. FAQ basics, owning a property, complexes, etc. Uh, be safe. Staying safe in the sea, safe in the heat waves, safe in bad weather. Forest fires, missing persons, emergency rescue, domestic violence and charities in Spain. And then red tape, crime police and the public, consumer rights, using the GIHIC, the new EHIC in Spain, patients charter, death in Spain, and CGT and inheritance tax. Oh my gosh. So there's lots of stuff there, not just the headlines. Nip over to JanetAnscombe.com. Okay, so we'll go and do the podcast now. Now we're going to fly over to JanetAnscombe.com and see what she's got to say. Well, the first headline I notice is the Kalima is expected from Thursday, bringing winds and dirty rain for the weekend. Uh, Iceland eruption web pam, webcam and drone footage. Iceland eruption webcam and drone footage. Uh, Cayucos and Pateras in the Canaries, two-year-old girl who was resuscitated from a heart attack has died in hospital in Gran Canaria. That's a bad, that's a s sad story there. And then the vaccines and the groups of vaccines. So we'll start off with the, uh, with that last one there. This was on the 21st of March, this was yesterday. The little girl who was resuscitated Keyside and taken to hospital in critical condition after suffering a heart attack has died. The child was two years old from Mali and her name was Nabodi. She died in the hospital Materno Infantil in Gran Canaria, where she'd been since she was admitted last Tuesday. She was the 19th to die in the Canaries route in 2021. May she rest in peace in an afterlife that can only be kinder to her than life was. Now, Janet has a, uh, an article about an Iceland volcano eruption, and I'm probably going to murder the name of the volcano. I think most of us are sort of interested in volcanoes, given our love for Tenerife. So here's a link to a webcam showing the eruption ongoing right now in Fagradalsvahal, Iceland. And you might also find this drone footage quite stunning. I did, and she links to the drone footage. You might find this drones. You might also find this drone footage quite stunning. I did, and she links to the drone. <laughs> and she links to the drone footage. You might be wondering what this is. Uh, 
I'd click this when I make a mistake so that when I edit it on, later, I can see where the mistakes are because it's two big spikes. It makes it go faster. Kalima expected from Thursday. Just a minute. I'm going to go for read more there. My sister just called. I'll ring her back in a minute. Okay. Kalima expected from Thursday bringing winds and dirty rain for the weekend. From tomorrow afternoon, a Kalima will drift across the eastern islands to Tenerife where it will affect air quality as well as pushing temperatures up a bit. Winter Kalimas never really get warm, but they have a dreadful effect on people causing breathing problems, eye infections, sore throats, coughs and allergies. Please see here for advice on how to stay safe. And she links to her Stay Safe page. The Kalima will be mainly noticeable in the Medianias in Tenerife and it is expected to reach its worst point from Thursday the 25th through the weekend, bringing strong winds and possibly dirty rain with it. Joy. And there's a, uh, a link to Barcelona dust on Ehimet, uh, Saharan dust over the eastern Mediterranean, also over the Atlantic affecting Canary Islands. And it gives you a link also there to the satellite page so that's quite good that was Janet Anscombe for today don't forget nip over to JanetAnscombe.com and see if you can find out all the details you need okay so we'll just nip to the Porto Canarias and have a quick look at the headlines there Let's go over to the Canarian government website to see what they're saying. Main headline, the SCS regulates the requirements for inter-island travel in the Easter period. That's the Sanidad or the health service. Health reports 2,000, sorry, 218 cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. The government of the Canary Islands signs with the CEOE Foundation an agreement to join the Plan Somamos Salud y Economía so the uh, plan for health and economy uh, roman rodriguez announces an investment of six million to develop the technological infrastructure of plocan and the updates for tourism infrastructure plan of the canary islands includes 1439 works and value of 676 million euros so if you want to read any more about those headlines nip over to gobierno de canarias.org slash noticias I won't go into any more detail there you can have a look yourselves I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening today I thought I'd put down do not disturb I don't know. Small town bliss. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening today. Don't forget to download or favorite the podcast or whatever you do. Don't forget we're on YouTube at youtube.com slash LWMST and we go live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5.55. We're also on Facebook at LWMST. And we're on Twitter, but we don't really read Twitter, do we? It's LWMST Tenerife. 
for photos of food and me walking in Instagram at Living with MS Tenerife. TimothyDowd.com for all your details. Send us a message. Support the channel. Find out how to join us live on our live shows. And read the blogs. Well, the past episodes of everything we produce. That was it for today, Monday the 22nd of March 2021. Enjoy. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. So now I better call my sister back. <laughs> Stop.